Welcome to the University of Michigan Dentistry Podcast Series, promoting oral health care worldwide. This segment is the care and maintenance of the tradition handpiece. It is a high-speed handpiece. The air pressure that it operates efficiently at is 27 PSI with a maximum of 30 PSI. The lubricant used for this handpiece is Spray-A-Day. The nozzle of the Spray-A-Day can is in the cap remove it from there and put it into the portion on the can of spray a day. The proper tube to insert the spray a day can is the shorter of the two large tubes. That is what we refer to as the dry air tube. The way that is applied is the nozzle is placed up against the dry air tube fairly tight, then one good squirt until you see it coming out of the head portion to where the burr is and the cap. <clears throat> then you run the handpiece just to get the excess lubrication out of the handpiece. It is then ready for use. <clears throat> if the handpiece is used even once a day, you should apply the spray a day to it. When sterilizing the handpiece, you should lubricate the handpiece before sterilization and run it, then sterilize it then lubricate and run the handpiece after sterilization. To remove the burr and to use the wrench portion, you insert the wrench in the back portion or the cap portion. Make sure it is flush up against the head assembly or the cap, then tight or loosen rather about a quarter to a half of turn. The burr will then be removed. To tighten the burr or to insert the burr, place it in the chuck, then tighten, fairly tight until you get it snug. Then run the handpiece. Once a week, you should Remove the burr and clean the chuck. You clean the chuck just by applying spray a day from the cap portion or the back portion and the front portion. <clears throat> Never, and I stress that point, never run the handpiece without a burr in it. This concludes the maintenance of the tradition handpiece. The proper lubrication of this handpiece is using True Torque conditioner. You Take the cap off of the True Torque conditioner. You'll find a metal seal on it. What you have to do is puncture that and put some, some oil into the squeeze bottle, about half full. Then you take three drops of True Torque conditioner into what we call the dry air tube. The dry air tube is the shorter 
of the two large tubes. That is the tube right here. This is three drops twice a week. The next portion is the forward and reverse valve. One drop on each side of the forward and reverse valve. Then move it several times so it will be free. Never push the forward and reverse valve while the handpiece is running. The next place is the latch. Take the latch and pull it up. Please do not see how far back you can bend it. And squeeze two drops of true torque conditioner right underneath the latch. Then one drop on the guide portion of the handpiece and two drops right in the center of the guide. Put that down, take the straight attachment and turn the lock ring to where you, all the way to where you can remove the shipping pin. Then you use spray a day. Squirt just briefly about one to two seconds of spray a day inside the back portion of the straight attachment. Also spray the same amount into the front portion. In the box you received, there should be two brushes, two nylon brushes. You take one of the brushes and insert it inside the front portion going back and forth, in and out. Do not twist the brush. The brush has nylon bristles, and they will break off and embed themselves into the slots of the chuck. And as a result, eventually, you will not be able to tighten either the burr, the mandrill, or the shipping pin. After you've done that, insert your shipping pin or mandrill or burr, tighten up on the latch, turning the latch all the way. Whether you tighten the latch, you have to, to tighten it all the way. If you loosen it, you have to loosen it all the way, not halfway. Then you attach the straight attachment onto the shorty motor and run it. The pressure that you run it at is 40 PSI. You will only, you're only running it to get the excess lubrication out of the handpiece and the straight attachment. Also, you received the plastic plugs. Remove the plastic plugs from the handpiece, and there are also two inside the shipping box. Discard them all. When you are ready to sterilize this handpiece. You lubricate it and run it before sterilization, and you lubricate it and run it after sterilization. That is very important. This segment is the lubrication and maintenance of the Midwest gear driven contrangles. The lubricant that is used is spray a day. Once a day, you should take the contrangle sheath and spray with spray a day inside the back portion, 
just approximately one to two seconds, spray the front portion about one to two seconds, put it down, take the, the head portion, in this case this is a friction grip head assembly, you remove the shaft and gear assembly just by pushing it, pulling it out and take spray a day, spray it right inside, one real good squirt. Put that down, take the shaft and gear assembly, spray each gear, the gear on each side very slightly, also also, in the center is a, a hole. That should be lubricated also. Just one good squirt. Make sure that the gears revolve freely just by applying a little pressure with your index finger. Then, insert the shaft and gear assembly inside the head, push it in gently, then revolve the gear against your forefinger. It should revolve very freely. If it does not, remove it and apply it again into the head assembly. This is to ensure that the gears are meshing properly. Then you apply the head assembly onto the sheath and tighten up the nut. To remove the burr, take the wrench, apply it onto the back portion or the cap portion, make sure it is flush up against the cap, turn it approximately a quarter or a half a turn and you should be able to remove the burr. <coughs> to insert a new burr, just insert it in there. Take the wrench and tighten it up. Tighten it up very snugly. Then run the contrangle. Just to remove the excess lubrication from the contrangle. This should be done every day that you use the contrangle. Also, once a week, you should remove the chuck. The way you remove the chuck is with the wrench, unscrew the <coughs> chuck approximately four or five turns and the chuck will come out the back portion. This chuck should be cleaned either in an ultrasonic cleaner using general purpose cleaner for about five minutes or it can be cleaned just by taking a piece of paper and inserting it into the three slots that are in the chuck. Your main purpose is to make sure that the slots are clean. Then insert the chuck into the handpiece or into the contrangle. Before you do that, make sure you insert a burr. Never run a contrangle without a burr in it. Once you have the burr inserted in the chuck, turn the wrench and tighten it snugly. 
Then run the contra angle. You've been listening to a presentation from the University of Michigan School of Dentistry, which is dedicated to supporting open learning and open educational resources. This recording is licensed under the Creative Commons. It may be reused and redistributed for nonprofit use. Please attribute materials to the University of Michigan School of Dentistry and redistribute under this same license. For more information on how this and other University of Michigan School of Dentistry recordings may be used, visit www.dent.umich.edu/license.